And today we will create a project that will use input and output statements. So first we have to create file new project and then choose Java, then Java application, then click next. Yeah, and then choose a file name or project name. Get it on your folder. So here I'm using the CPE folder. So I'll just cancel it because I've already created my input output uh, project. So again, you have to select your project. So this time I use input output as project name so inside input output click source package and then the input output folder then choose the input output that java so it contains your source code or program code so once again let's take a look with the parts of your program so you have here the package input output so this is the software package or the software bundle name wherein you can add more files or more classes inside this package. You can add two or more files or two or more uh, classes in your package. So but this time you only have one program in this package. So Next is we need to import java.io for our basic input output functions. Then import java util that scanner for our class. Scanner is our class to read input from the keyboard. Public class input output. So this is the class name or the file name as well. Next, public static void main. This is the main uh main part of the program main function so this is where the program starts execution then we have to declare our scanner class scanner in in is the variable that we will use to hold the input is equals new scanner system dot in then We'll just use that use delimiter backslash n for the scanner to recognize input with uh, spaces and it will only terminate the input when uh, you proceed with the next line. Next is string. String is the data type used to store characters text numbers or combination special characters text numbers or combination so uh, string type are not used for mathematical operations and so it is used to store names or uh, addresses or uh, messages information and composed of combination of any letter in the alphabet, special characters, or special symbols. Then int, int is a data type, short for integer. It is used for whole number. So since age is a whole number, we are mostly using whole number for age. So we just use integer to serve as the data type for age. So meaning name can have a value of any letter in the alphabet it can also have special characters and with numbers and age again must contain only whole numbers then system that out so we will ask the user to enter name so just copy this enter name you are not to enter any name at this point this is the program code wherein you will ask the user to enter the name. So the entered name must be stored in the variable name, which is a string type. So in that next line, so in is the variable for the scanner. So in that next line means to read the input, a string input, and store it to variable name. 
Then ask the user to enter age. And so display this message, enter age. And then store it, h is equals in that next int means, it means that the input is an integer. So by default, the input gathered on the console or on the input screen is by default is a string type. So that's why we have to determine the type like this that next line for string, that next in for integer, next double for double, and next float for float type of data. So after the input, so here we ask the user to enter the name, store it to variable, enter age, store it to variable age. Next, we are going to display the output, wherein we would like to display the message, welcome to Java, then display the name. And so, plus name. So, meaning, welcome to Java is the exact word that will be displayed on your screen. And once you put a double quote, so meaning these are the statements that will be exactly displayed on the screen. So, plus name, meaning uh you will display welcome to java plus the value of the name so for example welcome to java bell welcome to java gerald you are as you can see we have here uh yeah plus is used to concatenate so it combines the text with the value or the variable so as you can see you are yeah, and is enclosed with double quote. Then we put a space here so that uh, there is a space between the age and the word you are. Then plus age plus. So meaning that you are uh, adding more text after the uh, variable. So therefore, you need to include another plus. So, meaning H is within text. You are plus H plus years old. And so, when you run the program, so let us, uh, I have run it for the first time. So, let us run it again. Okay. So, since it runs our previous program, Hello World, so, you have to select the current program. So, then run file. And so, you will see there's an instruction to enter name. So, that's the time that you will enter your name. So, for example, Delcy Marie Sandago. So, this is a function of next line. So, it uh, understand or stores even there are spaces within the input enter age so Dulce is 11 years old and so it says welcome to Java Dulce Marie Sandago you are 11 years old that's the output of the program so remember welcome to Java is enclosed with double quote plus name or the variable separated by plus so plus indicates that the next word or the next value is a variable so just the same there is no double quote when it is a variable so it displays the variable displays the value that you have typed in the summary sandago is the value that is stored on variable name h stores 11 